Hey guys, here we are at the start of another adventure. So, in this playlist chapter, we are now looking at trigonometry again. But, we're already leveling it up, so we are going to learn a lot of new stuff in this chapter. So, things that we're going to need from GCC, first of all, we're going to need soccer tower, definitely. We want our soccer tower skills to be bang on. We also are going to need our exact trig values. So, these are our sine of 60, cos of 45, tan of 30, those guys. So you really want to be happy. If you can't remember them, you want to be happy remembering how to work them up. So, good news is for me, I've already got that done. So the first chunk of this playlist is going to be this stuff. All of these I've done for GCSE, so I might need to do some new A-level specific ones, but I've got you covered up to that. Then we're going to need the sine rule and the cosine rule, so we're going to want to be really happy with those. Area of a triangle using trigonometry, and we're also going to want to be really familiar with our basic trig graphs. Okay, once we've done all that stuff, we're then going to be looking at trigonometry inside of a unit circle and hopefully I'm going to be able to explain to you where the graphs come from. It's all to do with the location of a point on the circumference of a unit circle. So a circle with a radius of 1. Then we're going to be learning some new trig identities, so in particular these two, don't worry about them too much now though. So tan of theta is actually sine of theta over cos of theta, and sine squared of theta plus cos squared of theta is equal to 1. So we're going to look at proving these guys and also manipulating them in proof type questions, and then we're going to be looking at the trig functions again and their graphs and yay, transformations of trigonometric functions. So if you've watched any of my graph transformation videos back in the coordinate geometry chapter, you know how happy graph transformations make me because they take so long to do in videos. But we've got to do them, so we're going to do them. It's going to be fun. And then we are going to be looking at solving trigonometric equations. So we can solve these guys using graphs, which is why we learn how to transform the graphs. We're going to meet something called cast diagrams. And also we're going to look at solving equations using the trigonometric identities seen a couple of pages back. So it's going to be fun, there's lots to do, better get cracking. 